Hey everyone, uh, I'm here to help people and this is a list of the people that helped me when I didn't have any clue what I was doing. So big shout out to all these great YouTubers. Give you something pretty to look at, uh, something I hope to get you all to while I'm talking about where we're here today. So <laughs> this is funny. I think myself and not just me, but I think probably thousands of other people from what I've seen on boards have made one really, really simple mistake when they first started with Chidu Box, when they first got their printer and were all excited and had no clue what they were doing, which is exactly the situation I was in. So I fired up Chidu Box. I look here, and the first thing I knew I had to do was go to the settings. So in, on the right side, right above the blue button, uh, there is something that says settings. You click that, it takes you to this screen. Now the screen doesn't look like this when you first click it because it won't have the name there, photon. It won't have the resolution. It won't have the lock. Uh, it won't have the size in there. So what happened is I got to this screen. It was all blank. And dummy me, and I, I don't want to be too hard on myself because I said I think thousands of other people have made this mistake. I didn't realize that on the top left of this screen there is a page with a plus. And it's weird that it's a page with a plus because what that is is the add printer button. Now, I didn't know this. So I, like a good boy, I searched the Internet. I found the X, Y, and Z uh, for the anti-cubic photon, and I typed in, uh, I think, 115, 65, 150, which, as you can tell, there's something sounds wrong right there already because um, I had the X and Y reversed thanks to the Internet. Yay. So once you click that add printer button, though, you actually get a list of printers, and here's the hard part. You have to click your printer. You click your printer and hit OK, and then your printer is added with all the right dimensions, which I just showed you on the other screen. And we're going to go back to that in a second. So what I did was, so let me tell you my story because it's funny, and I think a lot of people have done similar. I input not only were the dimensions slightly off, but I input them in the wrong order because I had no clue what I was doing. So I was all excited. I, I did my supports nicely. I went and printed a model, and I think it came out, uh, print looked like print it right except it was totally flat and squashed and unfortunately back then I wasn't taking pictures but it was a hilarious fail and I was really confused and I thought oh not too bad so I fired up another print and tried it and this one I think came out like one third the size it was supposed to be and squashed all because these settings weren't right because I hadn't added it in my printer so I just wanted to save you guys from making like the one big mistake I made when I literally had never done a print and had no clue what I was doing somehow I didn't find this information anywhere so I'd like to save you guys from making the mistake I made and I think like I said thousands of other people have made and you don't want these funny icky bad results after your test cube prints perfectly somehow and then you go and do this and nothing works you get really frustrated so I would spare you guys all that so that's it just a quick hitter remember to add your printer and make sure you double check those dimensions even after it's added double check them make sure they're all correct all right thanks for watching and if you are new and watching this i have a whole series of videos to uh help you become an expert printer in no time at all thanks a lot bye bye